in Egypt. Archaeologists are investigating whether boats and elite teams of sailors were the secret to building Khufu's Great Pyramid. They've uncovered the long-lost journal of a sailor called Mere, who transported huge quantities of stone along the Nile to the pyramid site. Mohammed Abd el Maguid and his team are conducting an experiment to discover exactly how he did it. The ancient Egyptians probably dragged rocks onto their boats over wooden ramps from jetties. Mera would be worried of the loading of the boat itself. But he would have skilled men who would calculate where to put the stones and how to do it. Their heavy cargo had to be placed evenly across the vessel to prevent it capsizing. They have to remove it somehow to a slide to the left for the stability. They check the hull for leaks. It's looking good. Mohammed's team discovers that boats, stitched together with nothing more than rope, really can cope with heavy loads. Now, they'll attempt to sail the vessel across the mighty Nile. The limestone block will make it difficult to both propel and to steer. But Mera's papyrus reveals the best way to do it. He writes that the quarries were upstream from the pyramid. This meant that when the boat was fully loaded, his team could paddle quickly with the current. Then they used regular northerly winds to sail their empty boat back against the flow. Mohammed's crew will try to maneuver their cargo straight across the Nile. That's far shorter than Mera's regular run. It seems difficult for them to row. We have a problem from some waves. Port side is lower in the water than starboard. The rocking of the boat is causing the limestone to slip. The block is shifted a little bit to the port side. That's why we have this tilting in the boat. This is not the best situation. If the rock keeps sliding, the boat could capsize. They need to get control. Heading straight across the Nile is only making it worse. So they decide to row with the current and head downstream, just like Mera. Rudders at the stern angled the vessel towards the opposite shore. The row are having fun on the boat. Well, it's a new experience for them. Finally, they approach safe harbor. It's clear how skillful the ancient Egyptians must have been to transport 70 tons of stone at a time. I think Mera would be uh, proud with the accomplishment of his work. He was doing something for the king, which is very important for them at this time. 